Stay in the light, citizens. I never thought I'd get so close to the embassies. Look at the size of this council hall. So, this is what they spend our taxes on. Look! Is that- The princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? There's an oath keeper for that, I think. You thought it would be the princess? Doesn't she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keane, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keane, oath keeper of the council. Point down! And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the Council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the Council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this Council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the Council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Stop wasting time. What's the mission? Well, a motivated deputy. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, Bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. Wait. These marches... They're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there... yet. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer. More than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. A whole garrison gone? There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk, if you catch my drift. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So, gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to KLM.
Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Gravekeep's Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. We should go. Adventurers, what can I offer you? We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city.
I'll be with you in a minute. Hello, how may I help you? What do you sell here? Mostly potions for heroic adventurers like yourselves. I also have recipes for customers who like to craft their own. And ingredients too. Even rare flowers from the Badlands. Come back any time. I'm almost always open. Hello. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Are you Gorim? That's me, the one and only. What do you have to sell? Everything you'll need for going out there into the Badlands. Food, ropes, torches, and of course, armor and weapons. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of deep spiders? Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already. Oh, I love it. You are in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorder, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least, uh, 
Most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. At least she's not another lady or something. They're tough, these scavengers. Fearless. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. The scavengers? They've seen so much already. The first explorers of the ancient empire. So, what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. You came. You piqued our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council. In the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior Deputy of the Council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green, so let's say goblins. Ouch! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings. Believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say you find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thanks so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back. We sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things. Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care Lem. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh, so this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure.
Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs>